there's so many techniques out there in the world of video editing and motion graphics. That's why in this video, I'm gonna break down specifically how to create awesome glow effects and amazing glow reflections, along with some particles as well. So that's pretty cool. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. This is gonna be a great tutorial. All my other tutorials, not great. This tutorial, great. So we're gonna break down so many different types of glow effects and create glow reflections and particles. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna break this into several different steps, easy as pie. But if you haven't already heard, we recently have come out with our own motion graphics extension called the Motion Graphics Starter Kit, which has over 370 current elements inside of this pack, ranging from motion graphics to titles and to animated backgrounds, which allow you to quickly create amazing work within a few clicks. So if you wanna check out our Motion Graphics Starter Pack, that link will be in the description. But let's go ahead and jump into our tutorial and for our first technique, we're gonna talk about how to set up a floor for glow reflections. So this is the floor that we're gonna set up first and you can see how nice that glow reflection is, it's beautiful. So in our tutorial composition, all we have in here is a title. So the first thing we're gonna need is the floor. So I have this texture right here that you can just search up and download. Uh, just go ahead and type in uh, textures or grunges and you're gonna find something similar to this. It doesn't really matter. As long as you have something, you know, it could be a selfie, you know, that'd be interesting. But once you have this, bring it into your composition, set it to a 3D layer, hit R on your keyboard for rotation, set the X rotation to 90 degrees. Then hit P on your keyboard for position and we'll bring this down and we'll kind of get between the title and the bottom of our composition. And then we'll hit S on our keyboard for scale and we'll scale this up just to where we get about towards the edge here. And just reposition your floor until you get this right underneath your title and you know, everywhere around the composition underneath the title. Then we'll go up to effect, color correction, and we'll grab curves. And we'll just go ahead and brighten this up. You know, you're probably like, why does that matter? Well, it will in a second. Just go ahead and do this now. And you can always come back to this if you don't like it. So with our floor selected, we'll go up to layer, pre-compose, and we'll title it floor and make sure it move all attributes into new comp select selected click okay so now we will have our floor in here and make sure you turn it off because we don't need it wow i just wasted your time no i didn't and let's grab our title or logo and let's also pre-compose that and we'll call it placeholder and click okay then what we'll do is we'll go up to edit duplicate and then we'll grab the bottom placeholder and we'll go to layer transform and flip vertical and we'll bring this layer down so now we're getting our nice floor reflection. No, we're not. So we'll go up to layer, new adjustment layer, and we'll bring this adjustment layer right underneath our first placeholder between the second one. Then we'll go to effect, blur and sharpen, and we're gonna grab compound blur. And we'll set our blur layer to the floor. Now, haha, -ha, now we're getting reflection on that floor. It wasn't for nothing, I told you. And make sure we'll check on invert blur, and you can adjust the maximum blur as you see fit. I'll come back and mess with these parameters in a little bit later, but now we have the glow effect set up and you see the rest of the scene is gonna be ready for success. So now that we have our floor in place, we need to talk about how to actually create an advanced glow effect, something that's not basic, but something that is a great glow effect. Let's talk about it. So now we're gonna really create these awesome glow effects around our graphics and our title, of course. So we'll come over here to our placeholder. We'll go into that composition. And once again, we'll go ahead and grab our title and go to layer pre-compose. We can call this titles and click okay so now we'll pull out the glow effect so obviously we'll go to effect stylize no perspective drop shadow so that's where we're going we're gonna apply a, a drop shadow first what okay so we'll work on this in a second so we'll grab our shadow color and set this to any color that you want i want my color to be blue so I'll click okay then we'll come here to distance set this to zero and set the softness to 20. awesome then we'll go ahead and duplicate our drop shadow and we'll set our softness up to like 85 or so. And then we'll go to effect stylize and now we'll add glow. Yeah, we finally got to it. And then we'll set the glow intensity up to like two, maybe a little bit above two. And we'll set the glow colors where it says original colors to A and B colors. And we'll grab that original blue color at color A. So boom. So now we're gonna be glowing one specific color and that's awesome. And then what we're gonna wanna do is duplicate our glow effect. And this time around, we're going to want to increase the glow radius to about, you know, over 100. Maybe we'll go like 130 to 140-ish. And we can increase the glow threshold just by a little bit to like almost 80%. Then we'll go up to Effect, Stylize, and we'll just grab a regular glow effect. And I'll just help punch it up. And wow, 
that looks like a very stellar glow effect. But we'll come here to our new one and we'll increase the glow threshold up to like 80%. This way it's not so abrupt, but you can see you can get really crazy with it really quick, but we'll keep it at like 80-ish percent. All right, awesome. Then what we'll do is we'll grab this layer and we'll duplicate it. All right, come, we'll go to the bottom layer, delete all the work that we just did. All that hard work is for nothing. No, it's not. All right, we'll go to effect, blur and sharpen, and we're gonna grab the CC radial fast blur, and there'll be these streaks of light coming in from our title, and that's great. And we'll set the zoom to brightest, so we should be able to see this a little bit better. Then we'll all click the stopwatch for amount, and we'll type in wiggle, open parenthesis one comma 20, close parenthesis, just like that. And then we'll go up to effect, color correction, tint, and we'll grab that blue color that we've been using for that map to white. That's way the beams will be the same color and looks great. So now that our glow effects are applied, now we have our beautiful glow here inside of After Effects. So now that we kind of have a solid base for the scene, we need to talk about actually making this look good with a few quick effects to just help pump up the mood of the scene. So we have a lot of control here because we have the noise and you know, this nice color correction. So let's do that really quick. Let's go up to layer, new adjustment layer, and we'll just call this effects. And then we'll go up to effect, noise and grain, and we'll just add noise. And we'll set this up to 12% and uncheck use color noise. And it just adds a nice level of grain to this, or noise. And we'll go up to effect, color correction, curves. And we can create like a slight S curve here. Just boom there on the RGB. We'll come here to the blue channel and we'll just raise this up. So it's more blue, we'll come here to the green channel and we can like bring this down. And now we have a very nice style on our glow. That's great. So now that our glow effects are in place, now we can add pretty much any other elements into its composition and it's gonna look amazing in our final scene. So now that we have our glow effect in place, let me just show you how easy it is to add on to this. So like we can go right into our placeholder, go into our titles, go to like the original composition and we can apply a number of things. So for example, I can grab something out of my motion graphic starter pack and I click apply. And I'll have this accent graphic here. And I'll just go ahead and create a few variations of this. And with our accent graphics applied, you can see they have the glow effect already in here. So it doesn't matter what graphics that you, you know, put into that composition. It's going to have these glow effects. And you can see it's reflecting off the floor. And everything looks really nice. And of course, be sure to check out our motion graphic starter pack because it does come with this extension along with over 370 templates, including these amazing motion graphics that you can use to enhance your compositions. And this comes with nearly 200 titles that you can preview and apply into your compositions with this preview. So if you want to check out our motion graphics starter pack, that link will be in the description and your purchase will be supporting our channel. So obviously when you have a title like this, you want to be able to create some spice to it. This is why I'm going to create a flicker effect and show you how to do it. Let's say we want to be able to make our title flicker. This is really easy to do. So we'll go into that original title there and we'll open this up. We'll go to animate and we're going to add opacity and we'll set the opacity to 0%. Now we can't see our title, great. And then we'll go to range selector one and we'll come here to offset, I'll click the stopwatch and type in wiggle, open parenthesis, one comma 100, close parenthesis. So now our title will be flickering and you know, we'll go ahead and work on this. So then what we'll do is we'll come here to the advanced tab and we'll set this randomized order to on and where it says random seed, I'll click the stopwatch and type in time, asterisk 30. So now we will have our title flickering like this. And obviously we're gonna want our titles to stop flickering at some point. So what we can do is just come here, duplicate this and go back into the text and delete animator one. And we'll hit here on keyboard for opacity, add a keyframe for this and set the opacity keyframe forward in time and set the opacity down 0%. This way we'll, our title will flicker and then it'll just fade into our final title. And that's really cool. So now we have our really cool glow glitchy effect happening before our full title comes on and it looks really nice with this awesome glow. And of course, the best part of this video is the particles, of course, the best for last. So I wanna break down how we can add particles to our title and just control what we're doing with physics. You know, creating particles that bounce off the floor might look like it could be extremely intimidating to do, and believe me, it's the hardest thing to do in the world. No, I'm just kidding. So we'll come here to our tutorial composition and we'll go back into our place folder where we have our two titles and we'll create our sparks coming off our title it's going to bounce off the floor no problem so we'll go up to layer new solid and we'll call it particles and then we'll go up to effect simulation and we're gonna grab cc particle world and we have some sparks in here great so the first thing we're going to do is open up the producer 
and we'll set all these down to zero the radius x the y and the z down to zero okay awesome and then we'll simply grab the position and we'll just put this over like a letter so you see we have the l here and there's an anchor point we can just actually grab that anchor point and we can just move that generation right there you see this going to generate from the top of our letter and you can put it across any letter that, letter that you want then let's go ahead and set down the birth rate to like 0.5 for now okay and you know let's see um say like right here we want this to burst on we'll add a keyframe for our birth rate and we'll hit u on keyboard we'll move backwards a few frames and set this down to zero so there's going to be no particles and then it's going to burst on like that and then we'll set this back down to zero so we got keyframe zero 0.5 keyframe and then of course we're going to have it stop so that's very important to do then we'll open up the uh, physics this is where everything's going to come together and first of all we'll come here to velocity and we'll set this down to 0 0.04 we'll come here to gravity and set this down to like uh, 0.34 so now you're going to see the particles are just going to fall straight down and you know there's that so now we need to add a floor and bounce this off so we'll come here to the floor option and where it says floor action set this to bounce and now you'll see a floor here and we're coming to floor position and we can just bring this up so it doesn't fall that far nice and then we can set the bounciness to 100 we'll increase the random bounce to like 40 or so or 50 and the spread can go up to like 30. So now these particles will come in here and they'll bounce off of a floor. Now the thing is I want this to be able to stay on our floor. You see they just disappear over time. So we'll come here to longevity and we can just increase this up to 10. So now these will bounce off our floor and they'll stay on the floor because they're not going to disappear. So just go ahead and increase that as far as you need it to be. And then we'll go ahead and close this up. We'll go into the particle and we'll set the max opacity to 100%. Go to our birth color and maybe I'll set this to like a nice... Uh, you know bluish white and go to death color and I'll just do like a really more of a deep blue I guess so back in our tutorial composition you'll see that the particles will just bounce off the floor but they don't really like they belong in here so we need to add some glow effects real quick so so simply we'll go up to effect stylize glow very simple we'll duplicate it don't come here to glow radius and set this up to 100 and we'll go back into our composition and now we'll have particles that come in here and they bounce off the floor now you'll get a little bit of this weird um afterglow back here so grab your bottom placeholder grab the rectangle tool and just kind of mask you know around your floor you know like that this way you'll get rid of anything that's going on in the background there look at that bam bounces off the floor it looks really nice and then you can duplicate those particle effects and add them all across your title and you're going to get particles just flying around everywhere and the physics is a really fun to work with so go ahead and play with those physics and you're going to have a really awesome you know glow title that with sparks so it's really up to you how you want to use these effects and use them interchangeably but i think this is a really cool tutorial and of course remember to check out our motion graphics starter pack for some of these awesome accent motion graphics that help you enhance your compositions really quick along with nearly 200 titles so that concludes our tutorial on creating this awesome glow effects glow reflections particles you know flickers oh man there's so much in this tutorial hope you found this video helpful and remember if you're new here be sure to hit that subscribe button and of course you can hit me up on my social media networks those links are in the video description and always be creating